day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are back with another fun project. I need you to hit 3D Design, and we are going to make something that moves. I'm going to name this Spiral. You can put Slide if you want. I will call it a Spiral Slide, but check this out. We're going to search for a tool called the Spring. When you find it, I recommend making it a favorite. It is pretty darn handy. It comes in at 20 by 20. I'm gonna tell you to make it a lot larger. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna stretch it. Notice I did the height and it's up in the 140s. That's a decent size. I'm gonna click on it and do control D, control up arrow three times, make the second one a hole and group it, control G. Bingo. Just like that, we have got a fun slide, and yes, we're going to play with it in Slim Lab. Now I want a ball at the top, and I want it to roll to the bottom. Here's how I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to press W for work plane, and I'm going to put the work plane on this edge. So notice I spun around so I could see it. I want it to take a moment for the ball to take off. This is my idea for how to do that. I'm going to bring out a cube. I'm going to stretch it a little wider. I'm going to stretch it towards me. And then I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to take the black handles and I'm going to move them in just a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm making walls. Check out how slick this is. Bingo, we have just made a box. I can select the two, press L for a line. I can choose middle and then I can simply hit group and we have got a box. Now notice it's too far down. If we double click, click on the hole, and just use the up arrow a couple times and click away, bingo, there's the box I wanted. Now I need to move this up, so I'm going to use the arrow key, so that way it's going to run into the edge. And this is going to start the projectile. Now I want my projectile out here. I'm going to do work plane again. This time I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to give my projectile a little speed. I'm going to bring out this roof. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, if you hold shift, it snaps 45 degrees at a time. I'm going to nudge this back. And let's bring out our projectile. I'm going to hold down shift and make it a little smaller. Spin around so I can see it a little better. And then I'm going to lift it up on my ramp with control up. Friends, right there, we have got a fun little project with a ball. I'm going to select these two pieces and I'm going to group them. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. And are you ready for this? It's time to test. So if we go to the Sim Lab, we need to wait for the parts to become real. We need to pick the ones we don't want to fall. So I'm going to make this one static and I'm going to make this one static. You can play with the materials. For instance, I want to make this material rubber. And I'm also going to make it black, and I'm also going to make it transparent. So it's funky rubber that we can actually see through. And when we hit play, check it out. Down and around our project goes. How cool is that? Now you can replay it by clicking back here and watching it again. You can make this as complex as you want. But just like that, friends, we have got a spiral slide. If you want to start over, you can hit reset. I'm going to move over to the ball, and currently it was plastic. Let's see what happens if I make it polystyrene. Can you guess how this is going to affect it? Let's hit play and let's watch. Think about the speed. Was it faster? Was it slower? I'm going to pause. I'm going to reset it. This time I'm going to pick the steel ball. And let's hit play one more time. How cool is that? Friends, I do want to remind you when you have a episode you think is cool or a scene you think is awesome, you can hit pause and you can go over to share and you can create a video of what you just did. So I'm going to spin this around so I've got the exact angle I want. If you do shift right click, you can orient it, which is kind of a pan. And bingo, I'm going to create a video of that. Now I can do 16, 9, 1 to 1, or 9 to 16. 
I'm going to get it like a phone. So you can see there I have just got it oriented. And when we hit create video, it takes just a moment. And then bingo, you will have footage that you could put in your own YouTube short or just send to your friends. Of course, when it's done, make sure you save it where you want. I'm going to close that window right there and let's go back. Once again, when you finish a project, if you're proud of it and you want to share it with the world, don't forget it is so simple. You simply click on properties. Of course, you add some tags. You set it to public. And I always choose attribution no derivatives because once again, I will be having a tutorial that you can watch and actually gain the skills. When you're done, simply hit save changes. Friends, I hope you're having a ton of fun with these projects and coming up with more and more ways to put the Epic Sim Lab to use. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.